So I've teamed up with Enerdrive to show you a real world example of what it's like to cook on induction on your touring rig. Uh, to power it all, we're using the Adventurer system from Enerdrive and a 200 amp hour lithium battery in the back. So yeah, we're just gonna show you making some lunch. So yeah, you can see the battery sitting at 71%. We've been pretty much off grid on Moreton Island for two nights now, cooking every night. And yeah, we'll show you what the battery percentage is gonna be like after we cook our lunch, we're making tacos. So yeah, you can see the mince is browning. We're on 68% and we're drawing 77, 76 amps. So yeah, one reason we love cooking on our induction over gas is there's just no heat fall off. So when it's super windy and you're at a beach like this, it heats up super quick. Unlike gas where you're normally annoyed because the wind keeps blowing out the flame or it's just blowing all the heat away. Yeah, so you can see our total now is 63%, but that's cooking the mints and making a coffee. We are running the fridge as well, so we're getting 8.6 amps roughly of solar as well. All right, so lunch is done. We're heading on to our next spot for the day. This is a Cymarine app. You can see we're at 81%. It also shows you all your loads and stuff on the app. It's just super handy, especially while you're driving. So as you would have just seen, that was about one hour of driving for 20% of the battery. We're running 200 amp hours of lithium in there. So most people, when they're designing their 12 volt system, all they're thinking about is the appliances they want to run and how big of a battery they need to get to run them. But it's just as important to account for your recovery rate and making sure you can top that battery back up nice and quickly. And that's really why we picked the Adventurer system for our 12 volt system. We have three different ways to charge. First, solar second the DC DC the alternator and third we also have a shore power plug-in just like a caravan or a camp trailer would have if you have any questions about our 12 volt setup or about cooking on induction or anything like that drop them below and then also hit follow